Hello, and this is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, this is a video called Structural Discrimination the Unequal Opportunity Race. This animation was commissioned by the African American Policy Forum. Please visit AAPF.org for more information on concepts presented in this video. Thanks. Uh, yeah, you can bet I will, actually. We're going to bring that up. I uh, learned about this from Drudge. The school in Virginia showed this film to its students. This is obviously a bigoted film. Uh, I'm going to try to bring up that website and we'll show it to you. There's a bunch of stuff to show on this one. Mental Disorder of Liberalism Classic. Hang on. Okay, this is African American Policy Forum. They want you to make a donation. Fat chance of that. Uh, basically, this is an anti-white, white-hating site. You know, they love to post pictures like that where they're all brothers and sisters together. That's BS. Uh, I don't buy into that. These people are peddling hatred of the white race and of men, too. So they basically, they peddle ha hatred of white men for the most part. This is nothing new. We've certainly seen this before. So, let's take a look at the article. Hang on. This is from... Channel 12 on your side. And this Henry Echo place. Henry Echo, Virginia. Some Henry Echo parents are outraged about a controversial video... Shown at Glen Allen High School tackles things like racial profiling and the school to prison pipeline. Oh boy. The reason we have so many black uh, males in prison is they don't have fathers and role models. The family's been shown one time, you know, again and again to reduce crime. When you have, you have to have a strong mother and a strong father raise kids. It's as simple as that. You lose that, you lose you know, the family's first line of defense against crime and uh, all that. Okay, a concerned parent wrote a letter complaining that videos leading to tensions in school. Y'all are privileged. Get the Blank over it, read one of numerous tweets about the topic, said the parent. They're sitting there watching a video that's dividing them from a racial standpoint. It's a white guilt kind of video, said Blake. I think somebody should be held accountable for this. I agree. So, they got a bunch of angry parents at this high school. And I don't blame them. This is... A uh, typical white guilt is uh, bigotry. What they're doing, I've tried to explain this before, with this white guilt, they're doing the same thing Nazis did with Jews in the early days. Because what Nazis would do is they would attack the Jews on a cultural level first. They uh, claimed Jews were at fault for all the problems. In Germany, and they blame the problems of Germany directly on Jews. These people are doing the same thing, except it's with whites, especially white males. We're being blamed for everything. It's the same thing. These are the same people. That's just the way it is. So.
I watched this video, and I'll be honest with you, it's... You can get this on YouTube. Name of it is Structural Discrimination, the Unequal Opportunity Race. I can get this video up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link to it. It's on my uh, Mental Disorder of Liberalism playlist. I don't put a lot of other people's videos on my playlist. I like to put my own on there, but every once in a while, I'll have a reason to do it. Structural discrimination, the un unequal opportunity race, and it shows, you know, the whites racing by and all happy with money and, you know, blacks and others being held back by barriers and rocks, and it's just sickening. It's bigotry, it's hatred. That's the way it is. And this is what's one of the things that's being taught in the schools, besides the fact they're uh, trying to turn your kids into little jihadists. That's the other thing. So you better wake up. Uh, get your kids out of these public schools. They're a disaster, if you can. We need private schools. We need to get kids out of the public schools and away from these people. It's as simple as that. You know, I talked about the uh, teaching of Islam at Rochester School 58 the other day, how they were trying to make all the girls wear hijabs. That, for the most part, got shot down because parents found out about this and they raised hell. So most of the kids, most of the girls didn't wear the hijab. So the parents said, no, you're not wearing it. Period. Then the subject. It's good for them. I was seriously pleased to learn that, for the most part, that got stopped. Well, it's happening all over this country. I've said before that we've been taken over, and we have, in a coup. It looks to me like it's Islam, which I really hadn't considered before, I think we've been taken over at the highest levels by Islam. That's what I'm working on right now. There's a lot of reason to think that uh, Obama's got Islamics over where you look. So it's no surprise. I guess Hillary is just as bad. Bernie, on the other hand, is a communist. But uh, seriously... I do think we, we've we been taken over by Islamics, and I think they're going to, at some point, we're going to be screwed if we don't do something. Well, there you go. Structural discrimination, unequal opportunity race. This is being shown to kids. This is a mental disorder of liberalism. Liberalism is a very dangerous mental disorder. You can watch video for yourself. I usually don't uh, play videos on uh, my videos. I just don't think it's terribly kosher. Every now and then I will. If there's something I really want to show, like the uh, murder out there out west, but this one been on YouTube for five years, so look it up if you're curious. It's definitely anti-white uh, bigotry, anti-white hatred put out by African American Policy Forum. And matter of fact, Mars, get your kids out of the schools. Thanks for watching.